Today we're going to use Gravity Forms and GF Chart to build a simple booking form and dashboard. And the sort of scenario that I'm thinking about here is perhaps for a course booking form. Uh, and I'm going to do it in two parts. First thing is to build the form and the second thing is to build the dashboard. So to get started then with building the form, we'll go to form, uh, create a new form, and what should we call this? Let's call this a let's call this a course booking form. Course booking form, and I think we'll make this a very straightforward uh, form. We'll have uh, a single line text for the name of the person. Um, I want to charge for the course, so I'm going to select a product field. Um, I want to have a total, just so that people know how much they're paying, and that will feed through to the payment gateway. And maybe also we'll have a bit of, um, we'll select some radio buttons so people can tell us a bit about um, how they heard about us. And let's perhaps put the total at the bottom. Oh, um, there. That didn't work. Let's go down there. That's better. Right. So first things first. Let's call. Let's give that the person's. Let's call it your name, which will be required. We want them to fill that in. Um, and let's say select your course. Um, we want to have. Let's have radio button, shall we? We want to have several choices here. Um, let's, what can the courses be? I know the first course maybe is, uh, perhaps it's a music course. Um, a second, let's get rid of this for the moment. Second one is, uh, I know, a religion course. And the final one, let's have a coding course course. Now let's make the music $10, that one 20 these are just illustrative clearly, $30. Clearly it's got to be required. Um, let's, let's put, want, the reason I'm doing this is because I want the label to actually have the price on it so people can see that, but I don't want this to be captured in the data stored in the form when it's submitted. So that's that. Uh, and now let's make this... How did you hear about us? Uh, let's have a web search maybe. Uh, an echo one could be word of mouth. Uh, newspaper advertisement. Do people still read newspapers? <laughs> and let's make that required as well. And let's update the form. And now let's give it a spin, see what it looks like. So if we preview it. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. So let me make a booking. Oh, I'm going to book for myself. I'm going to go for the music. And I heard about it from a web search and press submit. Now I haven't done all the uh, routing on all of this. Uh, I haven't collected a payment gateway but uh, just testing. Let me put another one in there. Let's preview. Um, I don't know, let's pretend somebody called Mary who wants to do the religious course and she heard about it from a friend. So let's submit that. Um, let's do another one. Uh, let's say George also wants to do the religion course, but he found it from the web search. That's, so we've got three entries in there so far. Uh, and if you go to entries here, you should be able to see the uh, three entries yeah, that are building up. So notice the three entries, two for religion, one for music, and a total spend so far of $20, $50. Okay, so that's the form. Now let's move to building a dashboard using GF Chart. So we go to Charts and Calculations, and we select 
an add new chart. And let's call this a course bookings overview. And we connect that to the course booking form. We're going to create a chart. And now there's all sorts of things we could choose here. Um, I think the best thing to do would be to have a bar chart. Um, and let's make that a vertical. I'm not going to have a legend for now. Press on select data. Uh, and what I want to do is select your course. And I want to know how many people have some counting entries, how many bookings there are. I'm not going to worry about any of this. Um, let's go to labels and fonts and call chart title is course bookings uh, horizontal label. So this was the course and the vertical access label would be the number of bookings. And if we move on to preview, hopefully this will become a bit clearer to you. So here you can see um, there's the number of that split into the two courses, uh, the number of bookings for each. Now obviously it looks a bit weird with decimal places, but there's only three bookings in there. Um, so that's that's why that is. Now all we need to do is to put it on a page. So what I'm going to do, perhaps what I'll do first of all is just press save to make sure it's saved. I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call it course. Very imaginative. The first thing I'm going to do is to put the form on there. You wouldn't normally, uh, I'm not going to have a title. Oh, why not? Uh, I won't have Ajax and it's going to be a course booking form. I'm going to insert the form. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to put the chart on there. So I'm going to press the Add Chart button, select the Course Bookings Overview, insert there, press on Publish, and View Page. Now obviously it's a bit weird having both the Course Booking form and the dashboard on the same uh, on the same page. Um, that wouldn't normally be the thing, but uh, I'm just doing it for ease of simplicity here. Uh, but you can see them there. Now let's say, um, I don't know, let's have Henry book on the course. Uh, he can do the code. Now let's have another religion. I know, and let's say it's word of mouth. Press on submit. Um, and there you go, you can see the graph's already updated. Uh, obviously this message here is a bit weird, uh, we can edit that. But there you go.